Nintendo can make any concept seem cute and appealing. Nintendo asks for a character who eats the flesh of his enemies in order to gain power. In response, Hell created Kirby, one of the most beloved characters to ever appear on the Nintendo system. Kirby is well known for his ability to inhale objects and creatures to gain their powers, as well as his ability to float by expanding his body. He uses his abilities to rescue various lands, including his home world of Planet Popstar from evil forces and antagonists. Kirby has been described as one of the most legendary video game characters of all time by PC World. Kirby was created by Masahiro Sakurai as the player character in the 1992 game Kirby's Dream Land. The character's design was intended to serve as a placeholder graphics for the game's original protagonist in early development and thus was given a simplistic ball-like appearance. Sakurai switched to the placeholder design for the final character when he believed it served the character better. The character was known as Popo Po during development until the name Kirby was chosen from a draft list of potential names. One widespread view is that Kirby adopted his faster name from the Kirby Corporation, a vacuum cleaner manufacturer, leading to the belief the name is a play of Kirby's ability to inhale just about anything. The other possible explanation, as Miyamoto stated, is that Kirby was chosen in honor of American lawyer John Kirby who defended Nintendo in the Universal City Studios vs. Nintendo Corporation case in 1984, and that the guttural sounding name contrasted amusingly with the character's cute appearance. He first appeared in 1992 in Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy, originally a placeholder created by Masahiro Sakurai at the age of 19 for the game's early development. He has since starred in over 20 games ranging from action platformers to puzzle racing and even pinball and has been featured as a playable fighter in all Super Smash Bros. games. He has also starred in his own anime and manga series. However, Kirby's creator Masahiro Sakurai was greatly involved in his creation and it did not stray far from his vision of how Kirby should be. In the anime, Kirby's origin and backstory are explored much more deeply than in the games. However, Masahiro Sakurai has been quoted as saying he does not remember how Kirby got his name. As Kirby's first appearance was on the monochrome screen of the Game Boy, his true color could not be represented in-game. Sakurai intended Kirby to be pink. Because of this ambiguity, Nintendo of America was left with some confusion when the game was ported to the West. The American box art, cartridge label, instruction booklet, and even the television commercial for the Kirby's Dream Land features Kirby entirely white in color. The Japanese box art, however, depicts Kirby as light red. Kirby has a positive attitude and helps to save Dream Land through the use of his unique powers. His age is never directly stated, also he was once called a little boy in the English manual for Kirby's Dream Land literally acts like a baby in the anime and was referred to as being a jolly fellow in Kirby Superstar. This along with his high-pitched voice suggests that Kirby is young. Kirby is voiced by voice actress Makiko Omoto. The series has 35 games currently, with the first being Kirby's Dream Land in 1992, a new game titled Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is the first 3D mainline Kirby game, was released on March 23, 2022. Kirby and the Forgotten Land received generally favorable reviews. Critics hailed it as one of the best Kirby games ever made. Although the game is not so much challenging, it uses exploration-based level design with logic challenges, collectibles and upgradable copy abilities and mouseful modes that add up to the gameplay variety. So, the game is an amazing addition to the family of Kirby games, perfect title for the 30th anniversary and shows the game has a great potential in the future. Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe and see you in the next video.